Yo, 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 it's your man Malik Sabra coming back to you with another, another video for my channel. Now you see me, I just took the braids out, you know, going a little natural with a little mini fro right here, right now, you know what I mean? But don't worry, I'm about to bring the back in 2006 fresh cornrow, you <laughs> nah, I just play with you, but now, um, now, how you guys doing? Uh, having a blessed day myself. Just chilling. Today I got a little treat for y'all. I got some little poetry. Gonna read to you some three poems. Might have a little tone to them, but you know, just when I feel humans, our feelings are very fickle. So you know, these poems, their tones, they're not describing me every day. They just just describe me how I felt in that moment. So I got three poems for you today. I got most likes. I got my short videos or five. Let's get the seven likes. I just want seven likes on this video. I got 16 subscribers right now. Let me get, let's get the 20. Comment, whatever. Just destroy that like button and uh, subscribe to your boy, right, man? So, I got three points for y'all. Let's get it cracking. So, this one's called 4 a.m. And don't worry, I'm gonna explain to, I'm gonna explain to you after each poem, I'm gonna explain to them what they meant. So, this one's called 4 a.m. The sky is dark, but morning is here. Breezy and blue, a place for frozen tears. Laying awake, thoughts run rampant in my mind. Is this real? I just need a sign. Dark is going away, light shines now. I'm trying to see it clearly, but I don't know how. Sober mind is now in a drunken state. Thoughts are now settled off with a clean slate. The window is clear, dark blue, reminding me of no future jams. This is my life. At 4 a.m. So, you know, obviously I'm not no, I don't do drugs. I don't drink like that or whatever. I don't do, I don't really do all that stuff. You know, that's just not me. But 4 a.m., I'm relating it to something that a lot of people could relate to. You know, a lot of people, you know, have problems where they drink and they just drink because they're sad or they use drugs or something since when they're sad. This, the protagonist in this one is just drinking because he's sad. He's trying to fill a void. He wakes up at 4 a.m. every day just to get drunk and continue his day just so he can function. And that just mirrors what society is now today with all of our problems, you know, especially because me, I'm 18 years old. I've seen so many people between the ages of 15 and 21 depressed and using drugs just so they can function because they're just so sad, you know? So I just wanted it to relate. And I know a lot of people who watch this can relate to it, whether it's going, they're going through them or it's a family member. So, you know, but don't worry. You, you always got somebody that's going to love you. So um, this one is a little, a little personal one. It's called, Why Did You Hurt Me? For our love trials and expectations, with you on my mind, I'm having constant revelations. You can't come into my life and go as you please. Because my heart is breaking too, and less in ease. Why did you hurt me? I thought that you loved me. For all our good moments, you held him above me. I wasn't at fault. Can't play the blame game. The burn marks in my heart leaves me in shame. Why did you hurt me when I gave you all my love? No secrets or mysteries, but I guess it was too much. Now, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but basically it's just saying like, the guy is saying to, to his, like, his ex-girlfriend now, why did you hurt me? You know, I would have done anything for you, you know. And a lot of guys can relate to this, you know, where girls do things dirty, you know. And I know that guys do th things dirty, but, you know. And let me let me touch up on this topic. Guys and girls, when we do, when they do people stuff dirty, girls do dirty stuff more than guys. They're just better at covering it up. Guys... We, we we're like dogs, you know. Our our shit smells, you know. Cat girls are like cats. They shit, but it's covered up with the litter, and that's just an analogy for you know what I'm talking about. So, like basically, why did you hurt me? You know, I loved you. I give you everything. You, I give you anything you ever wanted, and but you chose him above me. And him, you know, he don't treat you like I treat you. You don't. He treat you like shit. But hey, you know that's just life. Life ain't fair. You know. Last poem I got for you is called Heartbreaker. <laughs> Baby, when I see you, the wind picks up music. Harmonic voices fill the air. No way I can refuse it. You mean to me as what Jack meant to Rose. If I can get the ring, I'd propose. But things went wrong, you made them go right. The world is an ugly void. You're by far the prettiest in sight. I can't kiss you now. Maybe I will later. Me not being with you is the true heartbreaker. 
Now, I think I fooled y'all with that one because y'all think it's going to be another sappy love thing where somebody gets their heart broken. Yes and no. This person is only getting their heart broken. Like, the protagonist is only getting their heart broken because there is a long distance relationship and they just can't see him, they can't kiss him, and it's just demoralizing where they only can see each other, like, you know, they only can see each other, like, not as much as they want to. So it's just it's just a heartbreak, you know. There's multiple different heartbreaks. You can be with a person in love with them, but if you can't see them all the time, it's a heartbreaker, you know. So that's all. That's all. So uh, that's all. That's all. I got my three points for y'all. Tomorrow I'm dropping a Q&A, you know. If you got my Snapchat, Instagram, or Twitter, DM me. Send me a private message about what questions you want to do. I already got, like, 15 to 20 questions from people around, like, my campus and, like, my friends and family, whatever, that I'm going to answer automatically. I I do I do them all because I can get through them real quick. Um, try to refrain from any, you know, incriminating sexual stuff, all that. You know, I'm not, you know, this is a... PG. This is a PG channel, you know. I got I got kids watching. So um yeah, so basically that is uh destroy that like button, comment, subscribe, you know. My Snapchat information, Instagram information, Twitter information will be in the link below. Uh you know, that's all. Uh it's your boy Malik Saber signing out. Everybody have a blessed day. All right.